guys, what's up? It's me, Erin Sushan, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am going to be reviewing this Outre Avalon unit that I purchased in a 1B. I did purchase this from my local beauty supply store for the price of $45.99. Although, if you guys are unable to get it at your local beauty supply store, feel free to check out my bio and I'll go ahead and drop the link to where you can purchase it from my Amazon storefront. All right, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the video, and make sure you guys stay until the very, very end. You guys, this wig is gorgeous. I'm just showing you guys the length. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it was shown as 26 inch or the 24 inch. I can't remember. I'm trying to rush into this voiceover, but you guys, the texture on this wig is giving like a yakky texture. I'm getting sewing vibes or maybe a blowout. Um, just to let you guys know, when I did put the wig on, the part is on the right side of my head. I'm used to having left side parts, but it is on the right. Um, so just an FYI. Um, so yeah, I will be using the Even Lace Bond Spray as well as the Lace Tinting Mousse as usual. So if you guys want the links to those, make sure you guys check out the description as well. If you all are looking for a very easy install unit, I would say this is the one. Even it could also be considered as a beginner friendly unit. I was able to go in with my blow dryer, my flat iron, and my hot comb, so it is heat safe. I would say just don't overdo it, but I did go in with my hot comb just to lay down some parts that I thought were like super duper thick to me. I just kind of wanted to tame those flyaways as well as you guys will see, but I cut my baby hairs and I kind of wanted to go ahead and form those baby hair curls. And then once I do that, I'll go in with a edge wax just to lay it down even more. I find it easier to use the even lace tinting mousse. I did go in with the color dark brown just because that is my skin tone. 
I find this way easier than the foundation method or concealer just because it blends in way easier. I would say if you put it on your fingers, it does stain. So as you all can see, I am rushing for time, but I did go in with a Q-tip and it's nothing wrong with that. But again, you guys can see closely how well it blends in. Again, I did have makeup on underneath the lace, so it may look a little weird, but towards the end of the video, you guys will see how well I did my best to blend it. Do you guys see how thick this unit is? Like she's very thick and she looks gorgeous. Uh, if you guys can see, she's not too shiny, but she's like just right. You all can see the yakky texture. And here I am going in with my hot comb just to lay the part down a little bit more so it won't be as like super thick or bumpy up top so I can go ahead and achieve the desired look. I love the fact that I didn't have to do much to this unit, like really a couple simple steps. I did go ahead and make my own baby hairs. You guys will see that I will be plucking just a little bit more hair just so that the baby hairs can look a little bit more realistic. It was very, very easy to pluck with this unit. I can say that. The lace is also very soft. Um, Outre is doing it. I don't know how long they've had this unit. But I am new to experiencing and trying this synthetic unit and I say I would definitely purchase this again. If you guys would like to see how I tie up my hair or maintain it when I go to sleep, feel free to comment down below and let me know because if you guys don't know, your girl has alopecia, okay? I do sleep in my units. I take care of my units as if they were my real hair. So if you guys want to see how I take care of my synthetic units, please feel free to comment down below and let me know and i will show you guys how i tie this baby up when it's time to go to bed there is bitch getting in with the video because you know he has to be seen but yeah i'm just finishing up on these baby hairs making them look just right i'm going in with my flat iron not too high of a heat but I'm not going to lie, this flat iron doesn't really have a heat setting. So I'm guessing whatever it goes up to is the highest, that's what it goes up to. But with curling, the baby hairs, this unit did just fine. Nothing burned, nothing melted. Like, do you guys see the curl? I literally just needed like a little bump just so that I could achieve the curl effect. And again, I'm going to go in with like um, some of the wax from my wax stick to maintain it make it stay down i used to try the mousse effect but the mousse isn't that much of a stronghold with synthetic units i do notice when it comes to laying down the edges of the baby hairs you need something that's going to have a tight grip so i suggest using some edge control using some wax from your wax stick but gel is not going to do it gel is too thin and also mousse is too thin so go in with some edge control if you can Right here, I will be showing you guys how to style this unit. Um, I went in with a half up, half down. Really simple, super cute look. Um, if you would like to wear this wig out, I would say if you do pull all of the hair up at once, go in with a scarf or a super cute headband in the back just to hide 
the back of that lace we don't want to see that ladies but just showing you guys that this wig is very versatile and you can do a lot with it so thank you guys for watching again i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you'd like to see more hair reviews comment down below and let your girl know if you have some styles in mind that you guys would like to see let me know as well so don't forget to like comment and subscribe on your way out and i will see you guys in the next video Oh, I'm going to make it back.